Hello Year 12 Chemists, welcome to TP's Chemistry Cuts. In this introductory clip we will define the terms reduction, oxidation, reductant and oxidant before going on to show that redox reactions involve transfer of electrons from a reductant to an oxidant. What I want to do now is to look at a reaction and how we identify that a redox reactions occur. Now it's going to look quite complicated, this, okay, and we're going to have to work out first of all which is the reductant, which is the oxidant, and then explain why. And then ultimately what we're aiming for is to get a fully balanced equation. And because some of these can be pretty complicated, it's not as straightforward just jumping backwards and forwards like you learnt last year. So you can have a choice between one and two, or one or other of those two. Which would you like? K You want to do the K M N apple? Okay. We're going to take something like uh, permanganate, and what we will react it with is S two. O3 2 minus. Okay, so that's thiosulfate. And we're going to form Mn2 plus plus S4O6 2 minus. Okay, so that's our reaction. And you're all thinking OMG. Well, don't. <laughs> the very first thing you need to do. The thing is, I've simplified it for you because I've taken out all the spectator act. It could well be that you'll have potassium here. So, should we put that in as well? Let's go the whole hog, shall we? The whole hog. And generally, you would get something like, so that'd be KMNO4 and Na2S2O3. Uh, oh, no. It doesn't matter if it does it doesn't balance, that's the whole point. Okay. So there's things that are there that are on one side and not on the other, uh, and so on. We'll see how you balance it later. So you're going to get M A2. Well in fact I'll just leave it like that. Because what would happen is they'll just say, oh, you're taking sodium thiosulfate and you're going to react it with potassium permanganate. So the very first thing to do is to separate it out. So this now becomes MnO4 minus. We're going to ignore that because it's a spectator and it's there to confuse you. Ignore that. You'll only get this on the reactant side, because we're going to tell you what you're going to add to what. And so you've got to get rid of the things that aren't going to be necessary. So we've got S2032 minus. Okay. So, we'll write it out again. And you're not going to like this, but you're going to be given a list of oxidants and reductants, and you've got to memorise what they make. What they make. For the names, at least. Okay. And now it's over to you, because the very first thing you should do, and do this in pencil or a red pen or something, is for one each of these, not for the total sum, but one each of each different type of atom, work out the oxidation number. So the first thing you need to do is apply the simple rules. Which would be the simplest rule to apply there? No? That will take out most of it. Oh! So what's oxygen going to be? So that's minus two, minus two, minus two. Well, we've done three species with oxidation. Only for one of each of atoms. Don't do the sum of them, okay? 
We want to know what's happening to one atom. Now you need to do all the others. Off you go. What's the next easiest one? Okay, so yeah, that's going to be plus two. Because it's a monatomic ion. So you do So what's this one? What about this one? Plus two point. Okay. Who says they have to be integer numbers? Okay. So, let's have a look. If you look at manganese, it's gone from plus seven to plus two. So its nominal charge has gone from seven plus to two plus. How can it do that? What actually has to happen to it to go from plus seven to plus two? What does physically have to happen to it? How can it change its charge like that? Gain how many? Yeah, so it's gaining five electrons. What does that mean to happen to it? What's happened to the oxidation number? It's gone down, so it's reduced. Okay, so, yeah, so oxidation number decreased. So it's been reduced. And that means that the actual species is MnO4 minus is the oxidant. Notice I've said that, the whole thing, MnO4 minus is the oxidant. But it's the manganese atom that's been reduced. That's the one that's gained the five electrons. Okay. If we look at this one, and it doesn't matter that it's a peculiar number. This is the only one, by the way, that is a peculiar number. It's gone up. Okay, so the oxidation <coughs> has gone up, which means it's lost electrons. This has been oxidized. And so what we've got is the reductant. Mm. So that's showing it in arrows and things. You will be expected to write this in words. So the oxidation number of, and this is manganese. And it's pretty much standard way of writing it. You just identify what's happened to the oxidation number of an atom. And that tells you, if it's gone down, that the species you're starting with is the oxidant. Because it's being reduced. That atom is being reduced, so the species is the oxidant. If you look at somewhere else in the equation, you'll find a corresponding increase in uh, oxidation number. Uh, and so what's happened is that that atom's been oxidized and that species for which that atom originally was in is the reductant. Now this doesn't balance or anything. This is just identifying which is the oxidant and which is the reductant. And in fact that this is in fact a redox reaction in the first place. And that's the first thing you need to be able to do is identify the oxidant and reductant. And this is basically excellence opportunity for that step.